Hello, it is Sunday, September 20th, and I am coming to you by video. I am out of town and I was not in a location where I could actually send you a Facebook Live, but I did not want to pass up the opportunity of being here with you and being here with you as we move into the autumnal uh, equinox and moving into fall, the sun moves into Libra on September 22nd. I am so excited about this. Actually, September 22nd is my son's birthday. So I get to say happy birthday to him as well. I'm not going to be with him. I'm still, according to him, not allowed to go to Miami yet. And so I am looking forward to that opportunity when I do have the chance to do that. Right now, the sun is still in Virgo. The moon has moved into Scorpio. The sun is in Virgo at 27 degrees, getting ready to move into Libra on the 22nd on Tuesday. Venus is in Leo, so we've got all that wonderful, loving Venus energy going on. So that's really great because it's in Leo. It's about love. It's about expansion. It's about creativity and romance. So that's really wonderful. Mars is retrograde in Aries. It's going to be stirring up some stuff for us and clearing up, making us see things that we probably did not want to see, but things that we really need to deal with. And Mars is at home in Aries. That's its placement. And so it's really working hard along with aspecting many of the other planets to make things happen. It may seem like chaos. It may seem like uh, confusion, but it is for a reason. It's for the end result of that clarity and of that clearing, of that releasing, and that wellness. It's all about the wellness, whether it's emotional, physical, spiritual, it's all about the wellness, and that's where we're moving. Uranus is still in Taurus. It is now forming an aspect with Venus in, in Leo, and then the moon in Scorpio. So we've got this T-square kind of going on, which even compounds that energy and really brings it out. Again, without being negative, because it, oh, we have a choice in how we want to use this energy. We can use it as fuel to move forward, or we can spiral downward in anger and confusion and, and fear. All of those things are part of that. We have a choice. You have a choice on how you're going to use this energy. The emotional pot is being stirred. And how are you going to do that? Well, we're going to start today because the sun in Libra, the sun moving into Libra on the 22nd offers us some opportunities here. The qualities of Libra are balance, easygoing, truth, that justice, that truth, beauty, perfection, and a romantic nature. Libra rules the seventh house of the zodiac, which is partnerships and relationships and contracts and marriage. So all of that is happening right now as that sun changes the energy from Virgo, that earth energy, to Libra, a more air energy. Libra's day is Friday and the color is pink. But most importantly, I love that word balance. Now, do I always want to be in balance? No, I don't. Because then you lose that enthusiasm, that energy when you spark up whatever it is that you get excited about. Or the opposite. Hopefully it's more in that positive, energetic frame of mind that we really like. Let me grab my cards because we're going into that feeling. We want that feeling of that we can accomplish whatever it is we choose at any moment because we are aligned. When I'm speaking now of balance, I'm speaking of alignment. That alignment that we have with source is the most important part. That alignment that we have with source is about love. And it is especially about self-love. It's especially about our worthiness, our deservingness of all that we desire, 
all of that's part of it. And a lot of us do, and I know for me too, have those desires for people that I love, seeing them whole, healthy, and well in whatever they choose to do, whether it's financial, whether it's about love, whether it's about what, what they do, their creativity, whatever it happens to be. I'm holding that balance and I'm holding that alignment for them and me as well. Yes, it starts with me, that alignment. And that's what I'm shuffling here now and using that word alignment because that is important. That is the core of it because alignment is love. Everything that happens in our life starts with love and it starts with self-love. We can accomplish anything loving ourselves because we have that confidence in knowing that anything can happen. It is all well. It is all perfectly well and good. Let me divide the cards now. And this is just a seven card reading, but we can establish and create this foundation of the Libra energy in preparation for for the 22nd on Tuesday. The other thing is we are going to be having um, the new moon in Pis Pisces. Let me double check that because I'm almost sure that's what it is. And all of a sudden, I just went blank on that. Yes, uh, the full moon was in Pisces. I beg your pardon. So the 17th, we just had the 17th. We just had the full moon in Virgo. So we already have that foundation there. Now it's time to take the thoughts to put into that action. We've got the foundation. Now let's take the thoughts into action. So here we go. The summary card comes from the bottom and it's off on the side. So we have one, two, wow, three, four, five, and six. Now the reason I'm shaking my head is because the first three cards are major arcana cards. And major arcana cards, there's only 22 in, out of the 78 cards in tarot. And these are the higher soul level cards. That's where we are focused on, on, on that higher energy, higher vibration. The other cards, which are the minor arcana, are everyday things. And those are the four elements that we have of earth, air, water, and fire. And they also correspond to the zodiac signs and the elements there. So the first question is, how can I healthfully, let me say this again, how can I healthfully balance what is going on right now? What is so beautiful is that this is card is the star. Now I love this card because it shows the seven smaller stars around it. And those to me relate to the in-body chakras, the seven in-body chakras. And then we have the one major star, which we can take it as the out outer body chakras, or we can take it as ourself, that this is where we are moving towards. As we move up through the chakras from the first to the seventh. It's about healing and release and wellness. And whenever we see the water showing up in any of these, that's what that's about. It's about healing. So starting with those in-body chakras up to that clearing, that releasing, that wellness of the major star, which is you. It can be your... Um, higher level chakras from the eighth on up. It does not really matter however you interpret it and however it feels to you, but it is you in any sense. It is you. That's what we're looking at. It is you. Second question, why is truth important? Another major arcana card. I am on this journey. This is an important journey. This is the journey of my life. Yes, I have a destination, but I'm going to enjoy this journey. Why is the truth important? Because as I go along my way, I am finding out what my truth is. That's the important part. I am finding out what my truth is. 
what I thought to be important, what I thought was my truth when I was a teenager has changed into my 20s and 30s. And as I continue through life, as I make this journey with this major arcana card of the chariot, as I make this journey, I am learning and recognizing the clarity of my own truth, my own inner truth. Why is truth important? I love this card. Truth is important. This is the alchemist. Truth is important because I can create anything as long as I know the truth. I can create whatever has to be as long as I know my own inner truth. Where does that inner truth start? It starts with the foundation of self-love. I can create anything. I can be anything. I can do, be, and have whatever I desire as long as I'm in alignment in that alignment of love. My own inner truth connects and is my self-love and everything gets created from love. Wow, it's a beautiful card. Ooh. Okay, next question. What is the nature of beauty? This is a good one because it is about perception and it is about sharing. It is about the nature of beauty is just like they say that it's beauty is in the eye of the beholder. This is, yes, we can state all those things. And by the way, this is the three of pentacles. So we can come into a group, we can state with others all those things that we find beautiful and it may not be the same as someone else thinks. And that's okay because we, once we are grounded in our own truth and what we know to be real for us, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because beauty is how you perceive it. Yes, this is pentacles. And it may also relate for you that whatever, so whatever you find beautiful, you're able to purchase. For instance, a work of art, a beautiful car, a beautiful home, whatever that happens to be. So with it being pentacles, it can also relate to the fact that beauty to you is something that then you can keep but it's also that beautiful sunshine outside it's the laugh of your child it's the beautiful grass and the animals and the birds that flit about so all of that counts but this also includes those things that you may feel that are beautiful that you want to purchase and there's nothing wrong with that can I give up the idea of perfection? This is an interesting card that we have here because the idea of perfection, this is about working hard and really getting into what you do and making it happen and, and be the master of it and be proud of it and know that you can accomplish these things putting in that time and that love and that energy. So if the question is, can I give up the idea of perfection? This is saying it's not an easy thing for me to do because I work really hard. I strive really hard to be the best that I can and I want it to be perfect. The question here for you is, does it have to be perfect? Are we then getting messages from the outside of us? that say, you have to do it, you have to be it, you have to accomplish it this way so that it can be perfect. Is perfect, perfection a message that we heard from someone else? Or is it something coming from inside? Because then our idea of perfection is totally different. Because that idea of perfection is about love. It comes from love when it comes from the inside. Outside, people can demand, ask us, do whatever, or create that old belief in us that we have to be perfect. That's a totally different definition of perfect than the one that comes from inside, which is perfection is about my alignment. Perfection is about my self-love and in what I choose to create not what somebody else tells me. Who loves me romantically? Oh, this is a beautiful one too. This is family. This is within the family. I know the question is who loves me romantically, 
but this is about the sharing and this is what I like within the generations so who loves me romantically this is how close they feel yes they don't have to be blood family but who loves me romantically is someone that feels like family already I love having them in my life I want them to be a part of who I am and they are family yet they are not blood relations because they are in the romantic side so this is a beautiful thing because that means they're included in your family they're part of who you are and part of what you do this feels really really good the summary card is the ten of wands so when we are looking for balance and as I said balance is alignment this is about letting go we have so many things that we have to be concerned about in our life that sometimes we lose focus we lose sight of what truly is important this is about letting some of those things go we can't carry it all if we are to find that balance if we are to find that alignment that's going to be our first focus and if it truly is there are some things that we just don't need to worry about they, we don't need to be carrying that wand of it. We can let it go. And actually, most of the time, it takes care of itself. So that's what's really, really great. Now, this is Sunday, September 20th. This coming Saturday is Tarot Flow. We will be having our Saturday at 10 o'clock session, Angie and I, and it is going to be fantastic. Our last one was amazing. Our last one proved to be so successful with the Facebook uh, group, which is a private group of only those people that participated. The card is pictured there, all the cards that come out in the reading and the oil that is created and gifted as part of this and the blend that Angie creates from the energy of the reading. She explains that on the Facebook page as well, and you will receive that blend. Each person that participates receives this very unique oil blend to carry the energy of that group reading through the next month. So it really is outstanding, and it really is a fun, wonderful opportunity. This last one, our first inaugural one, the uh, because of of who participated the oil blend was actually named pea picking blend for my friend Ruth's pea picking cake that she makes so we were talking about that and decided that wow this blend should be called the pea picking blend so who knows what name we're going to use for the next one also the um, online tarot gallery reading happened this past Thursday again outstanding fantastic so please participate in that and the special for September is releasing releasing old beliefs releasing negative thoughts that are holding us back we have that opportunity now the energies are supporting us to get this out of the way so we can be perfection we can be in alignment we can be authentic and we cannot be truly that if we're still holding on to some of those old things that we've been taught that no longer serve us that really no longer serve us so that's why I really like this one about perfection because I was raised with the idea that we had to be perfect we had to do it just right it had to be just so don't call attention to yourself by being anything um, out of the norm just be that and that's all there is to it so what's really great is that you are you you can be you and it doesn't really matter all of that is beautiful because you are beautiful and we find that balance that divine perfection not earthly perfection that divine perfection within all of our relationships and within ourselves because that perfection is about our alignment with source and that comes with self-love. 
This is such a beautiful opportunity for this. So I want to wish my son a happy birthday again on the 22nd when the sun moves into Libra. He's actually a Virgo at the end of Virgo. And it is a gorgeous time of year. I know in Tallahassee, we've been enjoying cooler mornings and my morning walks have been really, really, really great. I feel like somehow I'm forgetting to share something with you. I'm not sure what it is. And so if you're watching this, please, if, if you know what it is I forgot to mention, please put that in the notes and in the comments because I really would like to get that posted and done and all perfect and well. I love you. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for listening to the video and watching this. I will be live next time and next time will be October horoscopes. So I will see you then. And remember, joy has your name on it. Thank you.